listen to me. You know, I go through all the comments and I read them one by one, no matter how long it takes me to read them. I read my comments on TikTok. I read my comments on YouTube. I read all my comments. But it's amazing to me how some people are so close-minded. They take one or two words, they take a conversation, and they twist it around, and they make an innocent conversation out of something that's negative, or somebody's trying to attack somebody, or making somebody look shameful, or making somebody look bad. Listen to me. We all go through things in our lives. Every last one of us. We go through different circumstances, situations, and scenarios. We do. And we need to understand when we're going through those situations and scenarios, therefore, learning experience, right? And when you advertise your business on social media or you're a content creator, you got to know that people are going to have opinions, right? And if you will understand, truly understood, what the reasons for the conversation is just to open people's mindset to help them to see the perspective from a different position. Um, we've all made wrong decisions. We've all made wrong choices. We've all been in bad relationships. We can't walk around here and act like we've been perfect all our life. We have not been perfect all our life. And I keep saying the only perfect individuals resides in the cemetery. They can't make any more. They can't make any more mistakes. That's it. But as long as you're able to breathe and get and put your feet on the floor and you know what day it is, you have the opportunity to make a mistake. When circumstances and situations happen in individuals' lives, conversations are going to come up. And the questions are, are going to be, if you would really listen to the conversation, how did we get here? What was the root cause of the situation? Why was the signs ignored? What is something that's missing within yourself that you didn't see the things that you should have seen? Your lack of confidence, your lack of self-esteem, you're settling, you don't have no value, you don't have no worth. So we always thinking that when somebody having a conversation that is picking on somebody, it's making somebody look bad, and it's not. But what we need to understand is because that situation has been heightened, because that situation has brought up to the limelight, don't mean that's the only person who ever dealt with it. There are other people who who dealt with a similar situation. It just not have been brought to the forefront and they've been living in secret and dealing with it in secret. So when a conversation comes up, that pretty much is going to strike other people's, uh, other individuals' situation, then yes, conversations are going to take place. So let us stop being so closed-minded when it comes to things. And before we realized that alcohol was an addiction, somebody had to talk about it. Before we realized that um, getting high was an addiction, somebody had to talk about it. We had It had to be talked about. The topic had to be brought up. Don't mean that you make somebody feel bad. But let me tell y'all something. You get tough love confused um, and constructive criticism confused in trying to tear somebody down. There is a difference in construct constructive criticism and tough love. I love you, but I'm going to keep it real with you. I love you, but I'm going to give you the proper criticism that you need so it can help you to get back on your square again. I'm not talking to you or talking down to you or making you feel less than. Everything that we should do should be done in love. But we need to get out this closed mind mentality. We need to open up our, our mindset and see it from a different angle. Because when we have these crazy responses that we have, you only looking at one side. So if you got into a relationship, 
there is reasons why you got into relationship. If you the relationship end up going left or end up being a verbal or physical abusive, that's there's a reason why you stay. There's a reason why you allow that type of behavior. Somewhere down the line, you don't see your worth and you don't see your value. If somebody says, I love you, and you're easy to drop your panties and just let them walk right in, something is something is missing within you that you feel like those three words um solidify you just giving up your goods without you know making somebody work for your goods so we want to justify we want to sugarcoat we want to skate through we want to ice over no we can no longer ice over we need to have the hard conversations we've been icing them too long when i was coming up there was no icing over conversation was real straight to the point and if you, you liked it, you like it. If you didn't, oh, well, you would have got over your anger. And then once it marinated and you sat on it for a while, you would realize that the person was telling you the truth. I don't know how we became so sensitive in certain areas, but we are tough. We pretend to be tough in other areas. And usually when an individual responds like that, usually you're stepping on their toes. There is some truth to what's being said, not about the conversation being talked about, but it's hitting their life. So be honest with yourself. Say, oh, that sounds like me. And just deal with it. Change your perspective. Change the choices that you make. You can always recover. You don't have to stay stuck in the position that you are in. The choice is still yours. It's always been yours. And it will forever be yours. And we choose to stay in conditions that we stay in. We choose to pick the way we pick. We choose to tolerate what we tolerate. And we choose to accept what we accept. So when somebody is addressing something and it's a conversation and you brought it to the light, we can't get mad when conversation strikes up for what you brought to the forefront because you made it public. And anytime you make something public, you open yourself up to conversation. That's it and that's all. You don't want nobody in your business, keep your business to yourself and won't nobody talk about it. But you got to keep an open mind and look at it from a different perspective. That's all I'm saying. Stop being so quick to jump the gun when you don't even know the whole truth and nothing but truth will help you God. Mm-hmm.